Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Tamlin and this is Sewn on the Tine. And I'm here today with the first in a little series of videos and it's going to be my first sew along. I'm going to be doing a sew along of the Stevie pattern by Tilly and the Buttons. For my first sew along, I wanted to make it something quite straightforward, something quite simple, beginner friendly. I've made three Stevies so far and I thought, let's make another one and let's do it together. <laughs> So Julie from First for Fabrics approached me last time I was in her shop and she actually asked if I would like to choose some fabric to make my Stevie with for the sew along and obviously I said yes. What a delight to get to choose some fabric from one of my absolute favourite shops. Thank you very much First for Fabrics for gifting me this fabric for the sew along. Just before we start what I'm wearing today is my Tilly and the Buttons Nora top. It's the sort of short sleeved or elbow length sleeved version. No, it's not. I don't know which version. <laughs> I think it's the elbow length version, but I'm not sure. No, it's just the short sleeved version. And I've added these little black cuffs onto mine just for a bit of extra detail to tie in with the black neckband. And I think it looks super cute. This fabric is a gorgeous gray and black cotton jersey from Fabric Magpie. So the focus of today's video is going to be about choosing the fabric for your project. So even if you are not going to make the Stevie along with me, you might still be interested in hearing about how I go about choosing fabrics for my project and giving you some advice on how you should choose them for yours. So yeah, keep watching if you would like to find out more. So for those of you that don't know, the Stevie pattern is by Tilly and the Buttons. And this was released last year. It is a tunic dress, but it's also a top. So there are two different versions. You can make the dress or you can make the top. You can make it with a patch pocket on the front or leave it off. You can make it with cuffs or not. You can have it fastening with a tie fastening at the back or a button loop closure. So there's lots of different options that you can play around with. It has some suggested fabrics. Now the suggested fabrics are light to medium weight woven fabrics such as, let me just consult my list, linen, cotton lawn, double gauze, viscose and chambray. And then it also suggests that if you are a more confident sewer then you might want to try something like a sand washed silk or a crepe de chine. Now I've made three Stevie dresses so far, as I mentioned. One of them I made last year in a Liberty Tarnalone from Guthrie and Garney. And then I made two more Stevies last month. One of them, again in cotton lawn from Fabric Godmother, and that was the Crowded Faces cotton lawn. And I used the two different colorways to create my dress. So I used the white, with the black faces and I use the black with the white faces on different parts of the dress and I think they combine to make a really lovely garment. And then I use the dinosaur crinkle textured crepe from Fabric Godmother to make my other version. And you'll see from the inserts that the look that you get from the different fabrics is completely different and that's what you need to consider when you are choosing your fabric to make the Stevie is what sort of look do you want? Do you want that more structured, stable look or do you want something a bit more flowy, a bit more loose? I've put a belt with the dinosaur print crepe that I used. I wouldn't do that with the cotton lawn versions that I made because I don't think it would look right. So you've got to decide what sort of look you want to go for. So I went into First of Fabrics to have a little browse and see what options they had. And the first fabric I looked at was the range of Lady McElroy fabrics they had. And I was really, really drawn to one in particular, which is a cotton lawn. And it's got this incredible turquoisey coloured base with the pink flowers. And I just think it's absolutely stunning. I really, really love the look of this fabric. I think it's really striking and I was definitely drawn to it. So that was one that I was considering. I then had a further look around and I spotted some linen look fabric, which is 100% viscose, but it has that look and texture of linen. And First for Fabrics do this in a range of colours. I was looking at the okra version 
in particular but they've got it in a lovely rose, they have it in navy, they've got it in black, uh, sort of biscuity colour. So they've got loads. I will link them down below because they are an absolute bargain. They are £5.50 per metre. Now compared to the Lady McElroy fabric that was £14.95 a metre, obviously that is a huge difference. The Stevie does not take an awful lot of fabric, so if you're willing to pay a little bit more for a more higher quality fabric or a more expensive looking fabric then that's great but this linen look viscose fabric is incredible and I'm actually going to go back and buy some for some other projects very soon. And then the third fabric I was looking at was a geometric viscose fabric. This was a bargain price of £5 a metre and I really just loved the colours and the shapes in this one and it linked in very well with our sewing patterns and prints challenge theme for June which is geometric. So I was looking around and I was pondering these fabrics and which ones to choose for, well which one to choose for my Stevie for the sew along and I actually ended up going for the geometric viscose just because I really really loved the shapes in it. It reminds me a little bit of, makes me think of <laughs> Greek, like tiles in a sort of a Greek villa or something like that. I really, really love the colours. I think it's the blues and the, the repeater pattern. Yeah, I went for this one. You can see how beautifully that drapes. So I decided I did want something quite soft, something flowy, something that I could wear with a belt if I wanted to. I really really loved that one. So that was my fabric of choice. Unfortunately, because it's taken me a little while to film this video, I just went on their website before and I couldn't find that fabric, the geometric print fabric. So I'm really sorry if you really want that too. I couldn't find it on there but they do have some other beautiful viscoses that are the same price, £5 a metre. So I will link some other options down below that you could also go for if you would like to make a soft, flowy, drapey Stevie. So in terms of the fabric requirements for the Stevie, if you are wanting to make the dress, which is what I'm going to do, you will need around 1.5 to 2 metres of fabric, depending on the size you're going to make and the width of the fabric. So I've written it all down just in case you wonder why I'm looking down. So if you're making a size 1 to 5 in Tilly sizes, now I always make a size 4 in all of Tilly patterns, which is equates to around a high street size 12, a UK size 12, you will need 1.4 metres of 60 inch wide fabric, or if your fabric is narrower, so 45 inches wide, you'll need 2.2 metres. Those are a little bit generous, you can always get your pattern pieces onto less fabric than it states on the on the pattern envelope just by jigging things around a little bit obviously making sure you're still laying them on the grain line but you can definitely play around with the placement of the pattern pieces to save on fabric. If you are making a size 6 up to a size 8 you would need 2 meters of 60 inch wide fabric or again 2.2 meters of narrower fabric. So as I said I'm going to be making the dress version so I've got my fabric here I believe I've got 1.5 meters just in case I needed a bit of extra. You will also need some matching thread so because my fabric has got different colours in I discussed with Julie which thread I should be using. Should I go for white? Should I go for the darker blue, the lighter blue? And we decided between us that we would go for the lighter blue because that matches the base colour of the fabric. So that's just a little bit of advice if you are looking to match your thread to your fabric, look at the base colour and that would be a good one to go for. With the Stevie pattern there will be visible stitching because you'll be doing your hem, you'll be stitching down your neckband and there'll be visible stitching on the back as well so just bear that in mind. You will also need some interfacing so about 0.3 meters so not very much of interfacing which is about the same weight as your fabric. I've always got a few different pieces of interfacing in my drawers so I've got white and black and I've got some different weights so I can always just match up whatever I need with the fabric that I've got. You will then need to consider whether you are going to go for a button loop closure at the back, in which case if you are you would need a button and you would need just an elastic hair tie or if you're going to go for the tie version you just make that out of the fabric that you're using for your dress so you don't need anything extra for that. Obviously as well as those 
items you will also need your basic sewing equipment so obviously a sewing machine you may want to use an overlocker to finish some of the seams you can cut your fabric either using a rotary cutter or fabric scissors you'll need pattern weights you will need pins or clips I tend to use clips a lot which you'll know if you watch my previous video if I think of anything else I will add it in but that might be it just your basic sewing equipment that you would tend to have if you're making the tie version you may need a loop turner or a safety pin to help turn that loop through to turn your ties through to the correct side so I think that's everything for this video that was just talking you through how to choose your fabric how much fabric you will need and the other notions that you will need to get started with your stevie i will link to lots of things from first fabrics down below i will also link to a few bits on amazon that may be useful if you would like to also use clips for example i look forward to our next video where we will actually get started cutting out our fabric and getting prepared for making our stevie so i really hope that some of you will join along with me if you don't already own the stevie pattern it is a great one to have I think it's one that gets overlooked sometimes because of its simplicity but also maybe because of its shape I think some people are reluctant to go for it as they think it might I don't know swamp them a little bit or not be particularly flattering whatever flattering means nowadays so yeah I think it's one that occasionally gets overlooked but it really shouldn't because it's a great, great staple to have in your wardrobe. And as I said earlier, you can get so many different looks depending on your fabric choice and how it's styled. So I would recommend it if you don't already have it. Thank you for watching. Thank you to Julie from First of Fabrics for allowing me to choose my fabric for this sew along. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. I've got lots of content coming up soon, lots of varied content that I hope will interest you. Thank you for your support. I'd love to hear from you down below if you're going to be joining in with me and making the Stevie and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye. I've always... I was...